was a much oh, clearer. You have to start. Oh, yeah, it's got a battery. battery oh, flash. I believe it's, it's not batteries. It's not a Varta battery. It's a tape Oh, it's worth. why have you now completely changed really? We uh, used all the conventional wisdom we could at the time and uh, believed that calling our product green was the right thing to do so we launched green mercury free batteries. Three months later when we took cadmium from the product as well um, we did more research and found that the best statement, the clearest statement for the consumer was environment friendlier. Not environment friendly as may seem the obvious thing to do because uh, very few products, if any, can manufactured products, that is, can be totally environment friendly. So was the first um, decision one sort of influenced by getting in on a market before you'd really thought what, what you were doing for that market? No. Being a, a, a German company, we had the uh, technology uh, to produce this product and we felt that uh, the time was right and we needed to um, get the consumer to buy env um, environment friendlier products as soon as possible. Uh, being first into the market, though, we had to make the rules ourselves in the absence of any eco-labelling system. And uh, you perhaps wouldn't say you got it wrong, but you, you felt that you could certainly get it right. We refined it uh, through the process. We refined it over time. We've done various things in step, one step at a time. And we've greened the company also. It mustn't just be a cosmetic at the product level greening. Uh, it must pervade all the way through the company. Uh, so, for example, we use um, unleaded petrol in all our company cars as a policy. We have uh, recycled stationery used in the office. We have a no-smoking office here. Um, we take it seriously right the way through. Do you think that's going to be true of all companies who get into this market? I think it must be true. If it isn't true, then um, they are likely to be found out along the way. Okay, that's great. And what I'm going to ask is just for short sight. But does it end with the product? Can't end with the product, no. Uh, and we here have taken it much further than that. For example, we have an unleaded petrol policy in our company cars. We use recycled stationery in our office. Uh, we have a no smoking office here. Um, you have to do more than just at the cosmetic product level. Otherwise, you'll, you'll be found out eventually by the consumer. Right. Lovely. I'm glad we did that. I do a bus. Right? Yeah, let's see. Bar? Yeah, Chris, Chris Ash. Uh, Buzz track to cover interview of Chris Ash.
Thank you. project. Mara and I decided the right idea was to take all hot Mexican colours and to translate these into the paper project. Now the dilemma is what do we do with it? I mean, just tell me. The idea was to put it in the body and soul mail order catalogue, but have we got the courage to put it in the shops? What do you think? I've got reservations about it because it's not strictly linked to our product. It's, they're not skin and hair care products and I think perhaps restricting them to the catalogue is a good idea for the time being anyway. Well, the, diffi about? the difficulty with that is that we are now committed. There are several hundred people who are working on these things. If we wait for the catalogue, which, which will come out, what, next February? Uh, it means that we have to put on hold um, the entire production. Right. Surely we can think of something that will give them work now, continuing work. But well, if we're going to introduce the train in a, in a section in the shop, maybe this would be an opportunity to... That well, two things, yeah, I think we can either break the rules and do it, or another way which I think will get us off the hook, but to actually keep the, the workers in employment, mm -hmm. is the body and soul catalogue and the mail order catalogue is going like a bat out of hell in America, mm -hmm. we could do an insert with these products into the ma American mail order catalogue. Yes. So in yeah. fact, in fact, we're actually <coughs> causing a bit of a problem because there are now sort of like 300 inquiries a day on yes. that mail order catalogue. So that's how we're going to deal with that. Yeah. Mail order catalogue for America. Mm -hmm. Are we able to ship that out there? Is that feasible? Oh, no, yeah. no problem. Indeed, stuff is ready. Great. Okay. Well, that, that'll, that'll take up that problem that you raised in the interim. Then. Yes. Well, we're just about to reprint the uh, American catalogue, so maybe we should look at doing a supplement okay. at the same time. Yeah. Okay. okay, so here comes the products now that we've designed for the shops. Right. Yes. Yeah. These are an extension of the gift range packs that we're selling at the moment. Should be sold as separate items to hold. Hey, that's terrific. Excellent. Now, how do you think they'll go in the shop? That's great. Like a bomb, they're terrific. They'll love them. Okay, great. well, they'll love them in terms of its packaging. Yeah. How do we get the message over to the customers that this is recycled paper made from banana, made from water hyacinths that are clogging up the waterways? Is it relevant? Should we tell the story? Yeah, dead right is relevant. Our customers really want to know that. I think that's absolutely key to this product. We've got to find some way of communicating that to the customers 
um, clearly. So I think perhaps the idea of a trade not a bay in the shop, um, allocating some space to that. And then we've got to decide how we tell the customers about it and the message we want to get across. So is it strong enough an idea to go into the window in terms of a window poster? Yes. Yes, I think so. so promotional cards by the bay, window poster, what about, we've got yeah, to have leaflets. Leaflet. And leaflet. another big problem is that we're too verbal with the promotional material. People don't read more than two paragraphs. But I think you're right, people are now, customers are now saying we want to feel sympathy with this, we'll buy this, because A, it's aesthetically dynamite, wonderful, but they want to feel sympathy with the, with the, with the company too, that they're evolving in this way. And I think that's a message that you've got to be really careful of getting over in care to the public. Well, if, if we're dealing with promotion, uh, we, we are now able to make paper by hand, which is poster size, that is, with about, well, 60 by so 80. So we have no seams or anything? Not at all, so none, indeed. Brilliant. You see, we have, the, with these projects, these Trade Not Aid projects, we have a mega responsibility. We have a responsibility of continuing employment, we have a responsibility of education, and we have a responsibility for the customers to say, I'm not only buying this because I, I, you know, it pleases my eye, but I'm having to learn about the third poorest country in the world, the fact of the dignity of employment, the fact of that you can, we go in where angels fear to tread, and it's so easy to do. One person does it, goes in, you design it, Mara designed it, we execute it, and we have an avenue of, of release for the idea without them having to worry about marketing and worry about the costings and so on. And I think that message has got to come through. And I think the responsibility finally is being a role model, showing these larger corporations, don't be so wimpish. This is, this is far better than going to a boring old um, trade show in Hamburg. There's definitely a market for it. I feel confident yeah. not, yeah, Beata, not, not only is there a market for products themselves, there is a market in bringing the paper here and laminating it, for example, right. with, uh, with the highest technologies here. So you use a 12th century technology in Nepal uh, in combination with, with high tech here to, to produce a product which is completely new which also gives work to people here. I ended up in, a, in a, uh, um, a paper mill in Kent, well, with you, remember? Yes. And they said that they had been producing uh, architectural drafting paper for generations, which within five years they will no longer produce because of computer technology, which means that within five years they will have no more market in laminating our Nepali handmade paper onto their own paper will create a new product for them. So they are utterly delighted that uh, there is a possibility for their own uh, We also promotions. found a factory in Wales that produces flowers, silk flowers. Yes. And we asked them to try and, we gave them some paper, and we asked them to make some flowers out for us. So, so they're going to be... come up with very successful results. So it's making, they're making flowers in the UK from the Nepalese paper. From the paper yeah. we're supplying. That's terrific. I've you got, see, it's almost all this, all like this a small circle. Do we, sort of, do we want to get in into the train table? <coughs> okay, you're going to start off by just yeah. asking me that question again, then. These will be in the gift page. These will hold the products. Mm. But it merits more. How do you, I mean, we've got to promote the idea behind it. Yes, you're absolutely right. I mean, the thing, the thing is that our customers are going to love this, and the customers particularly are going to be uh, really interested in the, in the story behind this product, and that's what we've got to communicate, because although they're going to sell in their own right, the issue is really um, one of communicating to the customers and, and, and promoting this product with the message about the history behind the product. So I think the issue is how we communicate that. We're going to give a bay across in the shop to trade, not aid. Um, it's then what sort of... Um, if we're going to do a promotional card for this, what sort of message do we put on that? Do we put something inside the, the gift bags, which we did before? We had some leaflets inside there. Those are the sort of issues that we need to kind of finalise now. Well, I think it's worth... OK. And the, I think this one is actually in, important here, and I think what we've got to do is try and get the message across. Now, whether we put something inside it or not is... Um, I don't know, I think we did that last time. Yeah, OK. So, how about that one then? I think it's a good idea. Yeah. Okay. OK. Right then. Just take it over. Open it. This box translates from the gift range that we're selling at the moment, the gift bags, into a totally new gift idea. 
in which people can wow. customers will be able to buy the bag and buy products to go inside it. And close it up again. We've just given a great design away to <laughs> Okay, I need to money. We wanted a book of bliss. Follow your bliss. Your, the most wonderful thoughts, quotes. Oh, yeah. didn't, didn't we see one of those? <laughs> <laughs> it's a nice idea, isn't it? Well, people still buy them because I think it's a nice book idea. Book of bliss? Well, yeah. Nobody actually trying to find Bliss now. Yeah. We're going to introduce bliss. As Get your heart to the bliss range. <laughs> it's all your. Don't you know what bliss is? Well, he, hasn't had a, he hasn't had a lot. Just lie down and think you're neat rather than just. Barbara looking at them. Yeah. We, have we decided to do anything with these? For an instrument. Oh, all three of them. Using yeah. the I, thought, I think I've already got that. To using the police paper we photographed the paper. Yeah, but are we doing anything with that paper? No. What, time, what happened was that the art, because we couldn't get the numbers in time for, for, for Christmas, we decided to photograph okay. this pleated paper. And but then have we got ideas of what to do with it when we have got it? What's going on there? The States, the American shops. Yeah. You know where they come back from the States, the American yeah. shops. Oh, what are you upset about this? <laughs> <laughs> Just come back from the States, the American yeah. shops. Yeah. You know where the erosion is going on there. Rabbit on about, about your area manager oh, right. of the, the film I'm doing. Right, is she okay. good enough? Film. Yeah, I think that's that, that'll that'll do. That'll be, I don't actually know what film we're talking about at the moment, but I'll just keep talking anyway. So you know, um, we could do that. Um, I'll tell you what is going to be good though. It's going to be doing this video um, for the end of the year. I think that's going to be a good crack. I think the thing what we'll, that we'll do with that is to have um, Gus has got some ideas about doing it with uh, not jukebox jury, but one of these quiz shows like the one that um, Leslie Crowder does. Come on down, and we'll do it in here. Um, and have lots of prizes and, and silly wheels, and I hope they've finished filming about now. <laughs> <laughs> I need to talk to her and see what her, you know, basis is. Yeah. When you're going back, there. well, hopefully mid, mid no. month. Yeah. yeah. Half of it is gift pack making. Terry Lee Lewis. Oh, I think you'd be doing not too bad. I'll just have this carry a little step ladder around with you. Oh. Is this something you pay after to drop into this? Yeah. 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 Do you think they're too expensive? Yeah. Well, well, be out of, be out of.